Hi, my name is Dan. This is a live reaction to the music from Minecraft Volume Alpha. I have heard some of these before because I have played Minecraft. I'll give you all a little tour of my Minecraft world over on Twitch. That's uh, music expert Dan Spencer, and we're going to rock and roll with that. Uh, if you'd like to support this channel, please consider a membership. Check out music lessons, check out music books, all that in the description below. Thank you all so much for tuning in. And without any further ado, let's get this thing rocking and rolling with our first song from Minecraft Volume Alpha called Key. Also, stay tuned to figure to find out which of my songs is the favorite or which song is my favorite. Can't talk today. This is very peaceful. This one is called Door. I don't think I've heard this one before. Yeah, I have not heard this before. If you can't put headphones on to hear the bass. The piano in Minecraft, especially this sort of first basic music, or say the first album, Alpha Collection, is just wow. The piano work is incredible. That was beautiful. Really tasteful. Love the way it built to the end. This next one is called Death. Alessandro Coelho, thank you so much for your super chat, and I'm so glad we could review your childhood. <laughs> this next one is called Living Mice.
Now these arpeggiating instruments are creating textures. Love it. All those different pulses working together. It's also really masterful, masterful is how a lot of these songs are building from nothing to something. And the use of the harp is really nice and common. That was really tasteful in there. That little minor second in the piano together sounded like. Just a little bit of dissonance. Goes a long way. It's like cayenne pepper. Evan Herndon says, love the content. Think Minecraft's some of the best ambient music ever. So glad I'm reviewing it. Evan, thanks so much for your support in the Super Chat. Yeah, and I'm really glad I'm reviewing it too. Such a nice, peaceful way to spend, uh, spend a Saturday morning. This one's called Moog City. Now it's spelled M-O-O-G, so you think it's Moog, but it's Moog. And that's based off the synthesizer and I believe the man who invented the synthesizer, the Moog synthesizer. I believe. I have no data on that, I'm just assuming. Listen to those little synths coming. Oh, starting to build now. Bringing it in. Love that that filter on there, where as it gets higher, you hear more of the string sound come through. Villager 66. Yes, we have um, album beta is up for a vote this coming week, so make sure you check out the community tab here on Best Music Coach and vote for it. So I absolutely do plan on. Hang on. Sorry, I was talking the really good part there. But yes, I will be reviewing the other albums as well. And yes, back in 2011, there were music discs. We called them CDs. It was a time long past. In a world of a time long past, one man has a CD. This one is called Hagstrom. Love this, almost like this music box sound. Also love the dissonance there. The dissonance almost reminds me of gamelan music. 
It does remind me of the Amalot music. Alessandro, if it makes you feel like it's back in 2012. Thank you for the super chat. Well, I still play Minecraft every once in a while, so it kind of makes me feel like I was last week, but I know for a lot of people this is the sound of their childhood. Yeah, that is Gamelon. That, that that's definitely a Gamelon uh, VST or audio unit in there. That's gotta be. It sounds like the Gamelon from Native Instruments. Shout out to Native Instruments. five different instruments all layered on top of each other. Wow. Now playing with reverb. And a high pass filter sounds like. Or low pass filter, whichever one takes the high end off. Beautiful. Okay, this next one is called Minecraft. Now this one I recognize, because this is what plays when you open the game. Let me know in the chat if you find it funny that Minecraft is such a friendly game with such peaceful music, and yet there are zombies out there that can take you out. Wilbur Fleming, thank you for the super chat. Wonder if I listen to the Metopia soundtrack at some point. Yeah, sure, we'll put it up for a vote, Wilbur. Absolutely. I'm totally open to it. Thanks so much for the super chat and thank you for your support. The, yeah, the creepers that explode, uh huh, from the chat. So it sounds to me now like we have that music box sound layered on top of the piano for that melodic part. Could also be the gamelon and it's mixed way back and I'm mistaking it for the music box sound.
So something that's fairly consistent over the soundtrack that we can hear is that there's sometimes a repetitive idea or there's an initial theme that's introduced and then underneath it there's been a lot of things that change. So like in this we saw the ba 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 we have that going over and over again but underneath things are changing. Stuff's actually happening. It's small, but things are still changing. So at first glance, it might seem repetitive, but it is actually changing quite a lot. Yeah, light motifs, maybe. Light motifs would be associated with a noun, with a person, place, or thing. So if you can make an argument, Dust Donny Games, that this piece of music here is actually associated with a person, place, or thing, then yeah, we could call it a light motif when it shows up in other places. Otherwise, we would call this the theme. And when we hear parts of that theme show up in other places, indicating a person, place, or thing, that would be a leitmotif. Thank you so much, Evan Herndon. Thank you so much for your support. 6K subs have been amazing. Thank you all so much for watching and for supporting this channel. This next one is called Oxygène, spelled à la française. Française? Français? Bref. À la française, says Mathias. Et voilà. Thank you to all my uh, French speakers in the chat. I do appreciate it. Equinox, again à la française. Or Equinox, as we would say. Ooh, beautiful. Textures here. Oh, my gosh. The harmonies here are incredible. So, again, we have this repeating theme, this repeating idea. It's very simple. But what's happening underneath it is beautiful. Evan Herndon, thank you so much for becoming a staunch supporter. Yes, we do have a membership to support this channel. Thank you, Evan. This one is called Mice on Venus.
Ooh, listen to that descending line there. Ooh, interesting. Yes. Oh, I remember this one. harmonization of these melodies it's so tasteful and there's some things that are a little unexpected but it doesn't come at you in an unexpected way it feels natural it feels vanilla but it's not a hundred percent vanilla Love that. So tasteful, so tasteful. This next one is called Dry Hands. to hear a 
on this one. Is that it's not perfectly quantized. There, there are little rhythmic things where it's not perfectly all computerized lined up and it gives it a real human feeling. This is called wet hands. this music. Mm. Love those little octaves. It's like a pop song, the melody. Interesting. Furious Electric hypothesizes that dry and wet might be referring to the use of no reverb to reverb. Very interesting. This one is called Clark. How this is mixed. It's piano on the left, strings on the right, nothing in the center. Oh, there we go. Here's our bass in the center. Interesting ending. This next one is called Chris.
Sounds like we have piano and music box or piano and gamelan. Listen to that synth in the middle. Now we're getting a doubling of it. More over the right. Or a delay of it. Now that actually sounds like acoustic guitar. Or classical guitar rather. Layered in with piano and harp. That was beautiful. Next we have 13. That sounds like a good song for Halloween. There is so much reverb on those things on the side. Uh oh. I thought I lost audio there for a second. I didn't. It just stopped in the middle of the song. Minecraft is kind of a hard game sometimes. You ever have a half heart left and you're mining and there are zombies and creepers coming for you? Well, that was creepy. This one is called Excuse. Furious Electric says almost beautiful in the comments. I'm not sure. Everyone's perception is their perception. Wow, the delay here is really interesting. So you can hear the piano left of center playing, and then back on the right, you can hear an echo of exactly what it just played happening. That's the delay.
interesting. Listen to that low sound right underneath. And now we're getting those piano notes. Wow. That was interesting. I've not heard that one before. Now, this is my favorite song for Minecraft. This is called Sweden, and I love this tune. Just listen to the way it builds. Every time it comes back around, something's added. Every time it comes back around, something new. I think what's interesting here is we're staying diatonic for the most part but the way the chords are voiced creates so much interest oh there you go no longer diatonic that was a secondary dominant there sounded like and here again Furious Electric, that's pretty funny. Here are the pizzicato strings. And when we say pizzicato, what we mean is that the string players are actually plucking the strings instead of bowing the strings with a horsehair bow. And if you want to be cool, you don't say the whole word. Instead of saying pizzicato, you say pits. Yes, Miguel from the chat, if you say pits instead of pizzicato, that will get you in with all the cool kids at school for sure. This is called Cat.
The drums are almost comical. That was awesome. This next one is called Dog. And every time these songs cut off, I, my stomach jumps. I think I'm losing audio. to hit again there that was a lot of fun this next one is called danny oh good name i like it
synthesizers now. Love this beat. Those little pumps in there. Oh, that was beautiful. This next one is called Beginning. So here we hear a motif from Minecraft. Yep. Kaz says the motif is from Door, but I remember hearing that from Minecraft. Or maybe I'm misremembering. This next one is called... Droopy Likes Ricochet.
love it. Oh, I love that. That was a lot of fun. I've not heard that one before. This next one is Droopy Likes Your Face. Oh, these are so chill. And thank you for the super chat. Huh. I don't know. Evan, we'll address that question right after the end of this song. Wow, so this has been a Guitar Teacher's Reaction live and in real time to the Minecraft Alpha OST. This has been so much fun to listen to. I have heard some of these before. My favorite track is Sweden. Please follow and subscribe to Best Music Coach here on YouTube and on all other platforms you can check out. Also, we have memberships now available on this platform. Congratulations to Evan Herndon, officially our first member. And you can also check out our books on Amazon as well as our music lessons at bestmusiccoach.com. Now, to answer Evan Herndon's question, Evan says, would it be crazy to say that since it plays on the main menu screen that the light motif is meant to remind you of the beginning of the game like a nostalgia feeling? I'm not sure. If we're saying that the beginning of the game is technically a person, place, or thing, then I suppose we could associate a light motif with the beginning of the game. But I'm really, really not sure on that. I think it might be better to call it a motif until we can determine if it actually has storytelling properties, which is what you need for a light motif. And Waffle Dog says, do you think you could check out the Nether music before you go? It's three songs. Waffle Dog, we will do that in a separate reaction. I've got some music lessons to go teach, so I've got to hop off this and get going. I hope you all have an awesome, awesome rest of your day. Thank you so much for joining me. Thank you so much for your support. This has been the best month this channel has ever had, the month of October, and that's thanks to all of you watching. So from the very bottom of my heart, thank you so much. Please remember to like, subscribe, hit that notification bell, and vote for the next music reaction in the community tab. Thank you all so much for watching. Have a great rest of your day.